Music is spiritual. If you're not doing uh, it for God, hakuna hati otherwise hati sijui niko katikati hakuna kitu mbaya nafanya zangu ni conscious music hapana it is either black or white you're doing it for the for the enemy children of the promise recognize this small wisdom understanding everlasting peace things of the world no more dismiss walking in his knowledge and make it my business yesu milelenku andame falme wa wa falme Popote ni tume jina la Yesu ni zaidi ya yote What's up people uh, my name's a uh, chosen one cannibal I'm a gospel artist now I used to be a secular artist I've won awards internationally locally uh, Channel Awards in South Africa uh, Zumari Awards Kilimanjaro Awards and many in in my country Kenya uh, worked with the best producers uh, videographers as well travel the world uh, as a secular artist i was at the top of my career when i had to make a decision because life is all about decision i've been in the work of salvation for the last five years now and um, i'm here to share more about my story ni pauko apakawa mambo huenda yakawa bali yesu ndiye dawa unaburuka bila mbawa brother come see what do you see see with the spiritual eyes i want to capitalize visualize no na kesho name tell us him what gijasho kumbuka hakuna rewind my show sure okay i grew up in a uh, in coast uh, that is uh, 001 county 001 mombasa and uh, my journey began uh My love for music began when I was in primary school. Music has been in our family for a while. Na my it's, it began with my grandparents. My grandparents pia walikuwa ndani ya muziki. My parents vile vile walikuwa ni wanamuziki. Uh, so I think mimi ndio nilikuja nikaiweka ikakuwa so big in me because pia ilikuwa hiyo gen- from generation to generation. Um Growing up in Mombasa while I was in primary school uh, nilikuwa na rafiki fulani hivi tukiwa shule pale Valentines primary school uh, Jamal kwa napenda mziki pia mi napenda mziki so I, I, I saw him he was doing uh, some raps nini hivi nikaona ah this guy hii kitu nikapenda tu yani so mimi pia nikaanza kufanya fanya hivyo he introduced me to a couple of uh, music gurus at that time alikuwa ni Poxy Pressure uh, who was in, 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 in Mombasa so uh, ikaanza tu hivyo hivyo pole pole nikaona practice nikibalance kuli na huku nikifika nyumbani pia naandika andika kidogo i'm trying to learn how to write music how to execute it deliver it so nikamaliza primary pale uh, Poxy uh, was still with us after primary secondary secondary Poxy was still there with us uh, took us to a couple of shows uh, battles at that time kulikuwa hakuna ati shows shows as per se show kubwa lakini ilikuwa kwa ni hizi ma jam session so hizi jam sessions kulikuwa tunaenda kuna rap battles kuna nini so akawa anatu anatu expose sana to such things <coughs> So for me hiyo nili, nili gain confidence nika gain experience nika nikajitambua and you, you get to know your style and who you are so poxy naweza sema alitusaidia sana pande hiyo after 99 sasa ikifika kama 2004 i released uh, my first biggest single ambayo ilikuwa ni street hustler 2004 <laughs> in 2004 i had about um, four to five albums underground ambazo zijulikani so i was just perfecting myself pole pole trying to record here and there tukafanya ngoma ambazo ndio tukajulikana lakini we were famous without any song before now starting to record the albums then tuka studios came they were very expensive at that time but uh, tuka maneuver kuweka studio so that's where now we did a couple of albums hizo za underground watu wajui so um 
I began with a group called uh, Wafalme Weusi. Wafalme Weusi we were a duo. Jama Flani and Etwa Morris na Mimi. Eh, so tukatoka hapo Wafalme Weusi we did a couple of songs. Kaja Nairobi kidogo, Karudi. Then I went solo again. Uh, I did a song called Who which gave me a big exposure. Uh, in the year 2000 though I was still in school. So Nikakuja uh, I was nominated at Kisima Awards. <coughs> Kisima Awards was very big at that time with that single Kama Best uh, Dancehall uh, Song. So hapo nilikuwa na kina Nazizi, there were big names, kina Nazizi, XYZ. So I came to Nairobi for my first time, nikaona, nikaona, eh, kumbe, this music thing is serious. So from then, nikaichukulia sasa serious, nikajua, this is my path. At that time, unajua radio zilikuwa ni mbili tu Mombasa. So for you to be played in these two radios, kwanza ilikuwa ni, ni, ni blessing kubwa sana. Yani that was a very, tulikuwa tunangojea, ni unasikiza usubui paka jioni, usikize songi yako imechezwa. Kama ija chezwa, una follow up, unaenda huko, unapigia simu, nini. So for, for, for us, uh, the song to blow up, ata tukua mini tulipigia na simu na sharama uh, akaniambia tu eh mzee nimesikia song imechezwa huko imechezwa huko song imechezwa huko song ika go out of control ika, ika blow up but it was because of the experience pia tulikuwa nayo so i think time ilikuwa ishafika ilikuwa overwhelming hata wase mtaani hao kuamini yani tulilala ndio hiyo naambiwa <laughs> you sleep while you wake up rich yani things just changed Kila kitu ika change. So we had, we had um, mad love cost mzima because hakuna yule ambaye mziki yake ilikuwa imechezwa outside cost at that time. Imechezwa ati Nairobi ama wapi. But hiyo street hustle ilienda ikachezwa mbaka South Africa wapi. Yani it was very big. So by the time we released the video, uh, it go too viral because the song was already big, kabidi he may demand a video. So at that time we didn't have anything. Nikaenda tu nikaongea na na my mom. Nikamwambia sasa <coughs> my dream has come true. Akasikiza ngoma pale pale hivyo nimetaja mjukuu wa Masai. Masai ni mzee wake. So akafurai akasikia ah hapa babangu umetaja babangu vile umetaja mzee <coughs> I will be also a part of this. I'll be a blessing to this song. Nabasi, when we received her blessings for that time, it went viral. Nafikiri, it is very important for you to have a backing and the blessings of your parents as well in whatever that you do. Because nilikuwa ni meimba sana, nikuwa na albums nyingi, hata nilikuwa the street hustler song, I was, I was signing out, nilikuwa na hacha mziki. Because nilikuwa tu meimba sana. I was giving up, I was signing out, nilikuwa ni mesema this is my last song. Na, na nimekubali nitafutie ni kazi nitaenda kufanya <laughs> nitakuwa <laughs> nitakuwa day worker so um, i was giving up in short and uh, at the time that you you are about to give up that is when now god shows up so uh, our first show ile ambayo tulitengeza do it was a show there was a club called mamba disco it was a show with mr blue and Mr. Blue from Tanzania, he came. Uh, na sisi ndio tukae kwa kama kumkaribisha. So it was just us and him. But uh, we did a, like, like a, a drama video in it. Kabla tutoke on stage, hiyo drama ika, ika aktiwa ni kama tukwa tumeshikuwa nini. So the crowd went wild. Eh, hey, wachilieni. Ni kama mapolisi wali tokea mali tulikuwa tunangoja kuingia stage. So um crowd ili vogo while wachilia na chilia we appeared on the stage with the same clothes. So hiyo ilikuwa our my, my, one of my best moments and it was our first show <coughs> and we were very aggressive so it was very big the club was packed. Uh, I think we 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 did it best more than more than the main artists ule ambaye alikuwa ameitwa kama main artist that day and it was our first show. So from that day at a <coughs> promoters wali tuona hapo na things change immediately from that first show 
sasa ikaanza kugeuka the fame now started to to bring something i toured the world I, it started um 2009 when now cannibal and sharama was was silent i went solo <coughs> after the street hustler album uh, nikaamua wacha ni, ni venture kidogo solo um i got nominated at channel awards 2009 with the song called I wish I was with a big very big artist there kina Diban wakati huo anaanza P square uh, Tanzania was AY and 1FA uh, me I was representing Kenya just me and uh, Nazizi um, best hip hop uh, rap song na I thank God that was my first international award uh for the hip hop guys uh, then 2012 uh, i traveled again to chanelo uh, after chanelo nika travel kwenda sasa tour uh, europe kenda tour europe i was uh, releasing an album so i did a tour in europe <coughs> uh 2013 early 2013 guys turned up in big numbers na tulipiga tour from city to city because i was there for two months then i went to i went to <coughs> switzerland kidogo then i came back when i came back then i, I travel again kind of tena warabuni huku dubai kidogo the show wasn't um, the first show wasn't all that good because your promoter kidogo alikuwa ni oh ni ni mkora but uh, nika manage ku ku organize a few shows while i was there so nika ji compensate to i came back from dubai uh, i met up with a guy called from tanzania I met up with a guy called from Tanz- uh, with a guy from tanzania alikuwa amekuja kama msanii you know he came as an artist but uh, akiwa Tanzania alikuwa ana, nafikiri aliona kitu akaja kututafuta you know but he 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 wasn't into music as as he was saying he was into other things because he came with a jualijua for me to maybe clo- get close to these guys i have to use this music then baadaye mambo mengine so this was um now 2013 we mwisho mwisho yeah ali kam tuka tukamkaribisha uh, kuja kama mwanamuziki unajua sisi wa coast tunapenda sana wageni tunakaribisha kila mtu so when he came alikwenda mali you know where sharama used to live so he asked around eh hey, ale wasio ameimba street hustler naweza wapata wapi akaambwa ah even one of them anakaa tu hapa so uh tutaku link up so uh, akakuwa linked up sharama naye akamleta kwangu at that time i was in kizingo a place called kizingo in in, in mombasa so i uh, we were doing our our, our tour tukamweka pale no tukamweka pale mweka pale tukatua na yeye tukatua na yeye kidogo kumbe alikuwa anaangalia nani mwenye nani mwenye nyota who 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 is driving all this so he had some spiritual eyes because he was not human no so for me sikuwa nimejua wala sikuwa i was not allowed we were carried away with the music and the, you know the life we used to live uh, <coughs> so this guy pole pole akaanza kuni introduce kwa vitu vitu fulani ananiambia tu you know me i can fly i usually fly at night eh unashtuka unaona <laughs> unaona eh hizi ni mambo gani but uh, me coming from the coast you know to me hizo story tumesikia sikia nini nafikiri hata nyinyi mmesikia paka na sura ni ya mtu anakuwa na uh, su miguu ya punda ama paka na sura ya mtu vitu kama hivyo so uh, ikakuwa tu ah ni sawa tu nikapuuzia i didn't I didn't take it seriously then akaniambia unajua mimi niko na hizi vitu bana 
majini 300 plus so siku moja kaja akasema in front of my parents akasema hapo mbele ya wazazi wangu kwamba mimi kuaga na hizi majini 300 na naona yani alikuwa anapenda kuisema sana hiyo kitu siku hiyo tukamwambia wewe leo hebu tuzione hizi kitu we want to see um, i remember that day alitisha shuka safi alisema lete shuka safi akajifinika akajipiga shuka safi and that is the beginning ya mimi kwenda sasa chini my career took another turn uh, alipojipiga ile shuka kaitisha kitu inaitwa kitongu saumu kwa wale wapishi wapishi wanajua kitongu saumu aka put he put it in he kept it in his mouth um, atafuna kule ndani amejiziba sema zima ta ta ikazimwa sasa si tumekaa hapo kwenye giza this is about uh, 2 am this is about 2 am in the morning usiku giza lile giza lenye so tuko kwenye giza you can imagine ni giza huko nje na ndani pia ni giza na nyimu umekaa hapo so akasema maneno yake fulani hivi alafu tukasikia upepo mkali ukaja ukapiga curtains zikainuka akafanya hivi kitu kama akafanya because now tulikuwa tuoni so shuka ilikuwa ni nyeupe tunaona ile shuka tunafanya hivi Gi. immediately alivorudi hivi juu akakaa akavuta pumzi kwanza alafu akaanza salamu aleko sauti fulani hivi ilikuwa ime ya, ya kibabu mzee like a very old person no sasa mimi nilikuwa nimekaa kama kama huko mahali <laughs> mahali mbali kabisa akaanza na mimi tu immediately you know wewe kijana mbona umekaa huko kuja hapa karibu ah sasa nikashindwa mbona mbona <laughs> unaniona mimi ba na tuko wengi si so katika ile akawa anatafakari anatuuliza anatuambia mambo yale mambo yote anatueleza ni mambo ambayo yametokea mambo ambayo yashapita because the devil could only tell you what has happened but not what is going to happen he only knows your past but not your future only god can tell you about your future because watu sahi wako deceived wanaenda kwa waganga wanataka kujua kesho yao wako deceived what can a, a witch doctor tell you only god can tell you and it can come to pass lakini mganga atakwambia tu mambo yako ya, ya nyuma yale ambayo yashatokea akaniambia kijana wewe uko na nyota kijana uko na nyota na unaenda mbali kitu utafanya msikize huyu huyu akikwambia kitu wewe fanya unaona basi mimi nika nikachukua yale maneno nikasema sawa aka akaongelesha mama hapo akaongelesha mzee alafu akatua akasema sawa mimi naenda mkitaka tuongee tena kesho usiku time kama hii basi sasa mimi kawa nimeingia katika hiyo kitu ikakuwa mimi sasa ndo naongea nazo kila siku siku na sasa yule jamaa ananiambia shika hii kula hii shika hii kunywa mimi si nimeambiwa nimsikize mimi nime sasa yule jamaa ana enjoy ananiambia when you take this your, 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 your star is going to shine when you drink this you are going to be a very big artist unta talepuka more than what you are now so mimi nikawa nimeamini okay at, at that moment sikujua ni nini that i was taking but they were just like black uh, spongy things unaona black spongy things na maji fulani chafu chafu but uh, you know vile nilivyokuwa mimi nilikuwa i was just living no, nilikuwa na ngoja tu yani wale tu, watu tunaishi tu kesho ifike you know you're not scared or anything so mimi nikawa nakula tu nakula na kunywa vile anavoniambia nakula na kunywa ananisimamia hapo ana make sure nimekula nimekunywa hiyo kitu yake uh, every day 
So um, things zikaanza kuteka ayuta pale ndani ya nyumba uh, shida ikaingia matatizo in my career pia ika change so i can't even to go out and perform zile deals that were i was supposed to to sign all the opportunities zikapotea zikavanish you know so it was like the devil robbing me of what i had no pale nyumbani tumeteseka hata chakula kununua ni shida unajua at that time i was still living at my uh, parents house so mambo ikawa ngumu vitu ikabadilika sijawahi kuwa hivyo you know na yule jamaa yuko tu hapo anatuangalia tu so sometimes ile nikirudi pengine nimekunywa kidogo ana unapata mtu usiku amekuamkia amekuchenjia sura anataka kukupiga because he was this big guy like ni kama menua mawe he was huge he was like a, a wrestler yani ni mtu mkubwa amenua mawe yani ni mkubwa you know so um alikuwa sasa ananifanya mimi ni kama mtoto wake no. kwa nini umekunywa ananigeukia because sasa hiyo wanataka pengine kunikunywa damu or something haiwezi no. so he was angry he was angry usiku tu anapata mtu wewe unaamka usingizini unapata mtu amekana kuangalia you know it was scary but you know uwezi muonesha ati nimeogopa wewe unamwambia wewe ni nini unafanya bana si ulale <laughs> si ulale bana nini ni mbona unaniangalia hivyo kumbe ayuko hapo asha change is the spirits now have taken over a week and a half hivi i became sick i became very sick became very sick nikapelekwa hospitali uh, nika daktari wakanipima wakaniambia we hakuna kitu mbaya na wewe you are okay nikapelekwa hospitali nyingine tuliona labda wale walikosea nikapelekwa kwingine the same thing lakini mimi hapo mahali niko i couldn't even talk i couldn't eat nilikuwa niko tu naangalia tu machozi yakinitoka you know so for a week mimi nimelala tu sili nakunywa tu maji hakuna kitu naweza fanya niko tu nyumbani nini wageni wakija wanaambiwa iko huko juu wanakuja kuniangalia mimi siongei naongeleshwa niko tu hivi so my parents became worried <coughs> wakasema huu sasa itakuwa aje so one day my mom was um, as she was going to work mali alikuwa anakunywa chai huyo mama in that restaurant huyo mama mwenye restaurant ameokoka so alikuwa na msav na tea katika ile hali ya kumsongelea kumletia ile chai ile chai ikaanguka na the spirit of god took over her na kaanza ku, kuongea tu maneno unaona kaanza kuongea tu namwambia mama anaona mtoto wako analiwa anachukuliwa na majini. No. So akaongea mambo mingi pale. But uh, now my mom was confused. Kashindwa sasa ni mambo gani. We were not that family that used to go to church or vitu kama vile we were not very prayerful. So um mom jioni kuja ananiangalia analia sasa yule jamaa yuko hapo hawezi kuongea sasa anaangalia tu na anamwangalia tu you know so um ikafika friday yule jamaa akaniambia sasa si mimi siwezi kwenda ku ku ball wala nini siwezi nilikuwa nimemintroduce kwa couple of my friends um nilikuwa nimemintroduce kwa marafiki zangu wawili watatu so akaniambia mimi naenda huko i'm going to this friend acha niende ni spend weekend huko alafu tarudi Monday Tuesday mimi namwangalia tu juu siwezi kuongea sasa yeye aka akaenda kaaga kaenda sasa alivotoka tu ndio mama kanifungulia roho sasa kaniambia basi unajua namna gani huyu ndio shida 
tumeyakaribisha ndani ya nyumba majini wa shetani eh <coughs> we have to go for prayers so mama alikuwa na rafiki yake mmoja hivi alikuwa ni prophetess tukakimbia huko mtaa fulani kisauni hapo inaitwa mto panga tukaenda hapo kwa maombi tafuta gari nikaja nikabebwa nikaingizwa ndani nikapeleka kufika kule akaniombea kanipa maji ninywe kaombea maji akanipa maji ninywe nikaweza kurudi sawa nikafunguliwa nikaanza kuongea nikaweza kurudi sawa pale hata nikashangaa eh, ni mambo gani so profetesa karegelea vile vile yule mama alisema nikaribisha mashetani ndani ya nyumba ni hivi na hivi na huyu jamaa simtu shituki tapo na herself akasema mimi nafunga na nitakuombea so akachukua hiyo fast akawa naomba nini nini yule jamaa aku hakuja unaona because sasa zile vitu zili zili zilijua you know so zikampatia habari huko so tulipofika tu nyumbani hivi akapiga simu umefanya nini what have you done unaona What have you guys done? Anapigia kelele my mom, you know. Wewe umekaribishwa kwenye nyumba ya huyu, wewe unapigiaje mtu kelele, you know. Na mtu ameenda maombi. So, tayari we knew we had an assurance that this this guy ni ukweli hizi vitu yeye alikuwa anafanya. Ni kama alikuwa anataka kunitoa. And we we from that day now we became prayerful kaanza kuomba tukaanza kuomba tukaanza kuomba so vile alikuwa shapiga simu hivyo akatulia kidogo alafu akaja next week yake akaja kuja sasa hakuweza kuingia ndani ya nyumba akaanza kupiga kelele hapo nje kama sasa amekuja akaanza kupiga kelele hapo nje analiita toka huko nje toka huko nje i will kill you i will kill you so he caused a big scene majirani wakaja neighbors from every side you know it was a scene uh, now me i i, I nikafungua dirisha na juu nikawa namchungulia from the window um, as he was causing all this drama nini nikamuliza tu swali moja so you, you you used to be here why don't you come in you know you, the door is there just come in mbona napiga kelele mbona na una cause fracas but ye alikuwa tayari ashajua na maybe he could see something we cannot see because the house was already anointed so for for a week he he was looking for me in studios where now he knew where i, I, I used to go because i had shown him maskani zangu zote studio zangu mali mimi uenda ni hivi ni hivi so he knew so he was looking for me in those places so for me mimi nilikuwa nimejifungia tu nyumbani nikasema mimi mziki na wacha but we, we we used to go now for prayers it wasn't easy because you know it's, it was a new lifestyle that nilikuwa na adopt so sometimes nilikuwa na sahau but i would make an effort at least to pray at least to pray once in a day So you know pia ulikuwa unashindwa kuelewa sai I couldn't understand sana because now pia ulikuwa ni maagizo like you you are told just be prayerful no be going to 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 for prayers in church nini church usikose stuff like so unafuata pia maagizo but uh, after baadaye pia usu, unaona ah now I'm okay you know mziki nilikuwa naacha hiyo time because if kama hii mziki inaniletea uh, shida I, i rather leave it but she's the one who told me uh, up to today i remember that she told me music is what god has put in you to you it is not talent to you it is a gift you know na hii mziki ndio yako umekuja duniani kufanya mziki to speak of god 
and I can see you getting born again. I can see you uh, performing, singing for God. Nikaona, what is this? What is she saying? Hai, haiweze kani. Mimi ni okoke, mimi haiweze kani. You know, considering who I was. But you know, God knew you before you were in your mother's womb. And he ordained you to be a prophet to the nations. So I would say, mtu ambaya anakujua ni mungu tu. Um, having, having known where I come from, you know, ukoflani, maumau, cannibal sharama, unajua, and the life we used to live. Uh, so, ilikuwa kidogo, I add up. You know. But, miki lenajua ni kwamba mungu wali nipenda mimi. Mungu wa menipenda zaidi because my whole life has been like a movie and this is just one of the stories. So after this incident, uh, there came another, um, a couple of incidents. Let's say four incidents even. <coughs> but because now I knew God and I knew how to pray, Kidogo, I was, uh, I was alert in the spirit. But this particular one, um, uh, that there was a guy who came from uh, from the UK, and uh, I was given a call by a friend, and Kambiwa, there's a guy who's looking for you. He has come from the UK, and this he looks like a promoter or something. So Nika create time kana humuona. As I was talking to him. Um, we've been watching you uh, for a while now and uh, we, we, you have the international appeal we can see you can do very good internationally and since we had you have done a couple of tours Uko, we would love to work with you no, no. it's a big record label anyone would, 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 would not think twice Katika hali ya kuzidi kuongea pale, you know, the, 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 the guy had a, a local sister. Uh, alikuwa amechukua kama girlfriend. He had a girlfriend uh, from Mombasa. So, uh, we, as I was conversing with her, the girlfriend now, um, akakuwa na ananiambia, eh, mimbana uu jama, nikonae lakini, <laughs> Simuelewi, you know, simuelewi. Uh, we, we, be careful, manake mimi, simuelewi, manamara na washa mishuma, anda ni nini, anazima tatu, na ingia. Yana nafanya vituko vituko kwa, kwa hoteli. Chunga, sija kawa ni Illuminati. Sasa the mzungu guy had the Illuminati, you no. Know? Because he alikuwa elewi kiswahili, lakini alisikia hiyo neno moja Illuminati. Aka, we got his attention now, aka tuangalia. You know, so after that, aka tuangalia, aka, he called me. Aka nambia, come, I, I want to talk to you. Tuka toka, but kenda kando. So, uh, he told me, bana, I have come. And uh, we have chosen you to be part of us. I've heard you mentioning Illuminati na Illuminati si kitumbaya. It's, it's a brotherhood. Even wali niambia, it's a brotherhood whereby you come in and uh, we make you also, you be like us. You know, we are so many rich men. We are in two organization ya rich men whereby tunachagua mtu, alafu tunaweka pesa kwake, ya pia nakuwa kama sisi. Na tunaendelea hivyo. Called the promoter there. Nikaongea nae hapo hapo. Just to convince me. Nikaongea nae hapo. Kanambia yo man. We are going on tour with this artist. So get on board man. We need you. We need you here. Masi kakua hivyo. Kanambia man. We are giving you this much of money. This sum of money. We are giving you uh, 100 million USDs. No. For me, I was in for it. 
sikutaka kufikiria zaidi sasa hapo but sasa hii kitu kingine pia sijaelewa vizuri because ameniambia sana it's a brotherhood hakuna shida hey, brotherhood so nikaona ah kama brotherhood ni hivyo well and good but uh, where, where it got me to think twice is hapo kwa ku sign contract you know hapo kwa ku sign contract now he he said that you you know this is the contract i want you to sign na nikaipitia pitia tu kidogo akaniambia hapa na hapa ndo unaweka kidole you know so nikakuwa niko tayari ku sign mimi um but sasa aliniambia atu sign vile wewe unajua ati sijui kalamu nini ya uh, you you put a, a thumb of your blood you know you cut yourself you put a thumb of your blood eh nikawa sijawahi kuona kitu kama hiyo mimi in my life na siati ni contract ya kwanza tuna sign but uh, i remember the previous uh, the previous incidents zika zilizotokea nikaona eh hey, this is the devil you know the devil doesn't give up he will reinvent himself to come with other different styles anakuja hivi anakuja hivi akishindwa huko atakuja hivi atakuja hivi is a guy who doesn't give up so you need to be alert in the spirit this was the first time i was seeing the guy maybe he wasn't going to tell me about uh, the illuminati thing he just came about because who they only mentioned to you know so kila kitu ina happen for a reason because kama sio hiyo pengine ninge sign but he, he was new to me and uh, i didn't i didn't uh, i didn't know him i've never seen him before so nikaona this is the real deal nikaona mimi maze my life has changed this is it this is it i was at the top of my career that's why they, they even came for me sometimes these opportunities also i would say also the devil has opportunities but you need to know sometimes your hunger ama your 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 your, your hunger to make it might put you in trouble no uh, sana sana uh, Uh, artists ambao wanataka ku make it maybe the upcoming growing artists ama you've been an artist for a while but you you have not been there unaona you you have this hunger na unaona eh hey, mimi chochote kitokea ndachukua pray that you may receive uh, uh, eyes to this and to know hii ni gani na hii ni gani you know and because the devil is out there he is also looking for people uh, na, na Uh, njia za kudanganya ni nyingi sana sometimes you might receive cash but it is not god's will you know it is not god's will so sioni hata kila kitu ni baraka tu ni god hapana open your eyes as he told me ni you put a thumb of blood there hapa na hapa nikashtuka ni but siku muonesha hati nimeshtuka wala nini so i just said okay okay ah, sawa Can you give me a little bit of time niende ni study the contract kidogo ni just look for excuses ili nitoke kwa hapo so immediately tu nili alisema i'm still around for a week so we hurry up we do this we start moving mimi niliondoka na ndio hivyo kuniona tena sikurudi tena na kashiki simu zake na nikapotea tu the bible says It, it is what good will it gain a man to gain the whole world and and lose his soul you know hakuna kitu because this thing you will just leave it here in the world na kesho yako itakuwa peme because there's life after death there's life after death and for you to know that you are right with your god is the best thing best feeling you know you are right with your father it is the best feeling utaki kuwa na ugomvi na babako hata wewe hapa duniani utaki kuwa na anyone who uh, una ugomvi ana ugomvi na mzazi wake hayuko sawa you know it, it, it will it is affecting you it am affect ndani so you wouldn't want to be in such a position now you know the right way you know the right thing to do so hata ukapewa dunia nzima uambie hii ni yako 
still you will leave it here but the, it, 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 for eternity you will live to regret because there is life after here there is life after here so uko mbele ambao ndo unaenda kuishi milele unaenda kuishi milele uko mbele unaenda wapi you know na hapa duniani ni muda mchache tu unapata dunia nzima alafu haikusaidii na kitu for me there was no struggle because i knew immediately this is not of god because why why do why put your blood It, any symbol of blood is a symbol of covenant so i understood that but uh, ile basha ndogo ambayo alinipea hiyo time hiyo nilichukua <laughs> nikaingia mahali hivi nikaiombea because nilikuwa najua kuomba sasa nikaiombea ndio kama inageuka makaratasi tuone hapa hapa <laughs> so i prayed for it uh, na hiyo nilichukua but he never saw me again Uh, right then then siku sikuuliza mtu wala nini baada hapo tu ndo nilielezea wale nilikuwa nao na no, pia they, they supported they supported me i would say many artists are driven by the the last of this world unaona hiyo kutaka ku make it sana you want to make it through anything kitu yoyote tu inakuja so um, wengi wanakuwa deceived with the money baadaye unaona tunasikia msanii ana anaumia baadaye ama amefariki prematurely we don't know the cause but they are there they also some who are this thing is real this thing is real because shetani anajua kikushika wewe because you you have a fan base you have so many guys you unaweza wapeleka kwake so he uses the influential people unaona So if you're not doing your, for God if you're not doing music for God because music is a very powerful tool I would say music was not created by man it came from heaven it's the only thing that came from heaven no so it is spiritual music is spiritual if you're not doing uh, it for God hakuna hati otherwise hati sijui niko katikati hakuna kitu mbaya nafanya zangu ni conscious music apana it is either black or white you're doing it for the for the enemy that is the devil unajua because music releases spirits music inaachilia maroho ndio maana unaona watu wanaingia pale club mara wanageuka because the the are ministering spirits in every altar unaona zile stages stage pale tuseme iko kwa club fulani hii stage kuna ministering spirits pale ni kama tu church there are ministering spirits also in at, at the altar and these stages mali watu wana perform mali watu wanafanya there are ministering spirits there's a spirit behind anything that happens hakuna kitu ina happen to hivi because this world is controlled by the spirit realm it is controlled by the from the spirit world you know anything that manifests itself here imekuwa manifested fast in the spirit that's why as christians we live by faith we manifest it from nowhere to to the visible no so um so many uh, wali wali cheka, so many wali wali misunderstand so many but you know when you are not in someone's shoe you would never you would never understand you never understand na si rahisi vile wanaona because pia hizi vitu huwezi letewa tu unless you have something for them they have seen something in you that's why they follow you you know god has something deposited into each and every man ama woman that is special because the devil knows who you are kitoboa hapa kijijua yeye ni nani he is trouble for me you know i vied for the mcs seat in 2017 that experience a whole year i used to walk with a man of god na alikuwa ana ana ni take through because now nilikuwa nishajua that mimi sasa bila god it's either you choose now to be on god's side or pande nyingine because pia Mombasa unajua watu wana wanajaribiana sana so i decided to walk with a man of god this man of god took me through na ye kitu alikuwa anaomba tu ananiambia just come to my fellowships don't miss my fellowships so i was going for a whole year 
every Tuesday, every Thursday, every Tuesday, every Thursday, plus Sunday. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing by the word of God. The more I heard the word, the more I yearned for more. The more I was thirsty for more, to know more. Hey, I love so sunny kiwapale. The power of God was also hitting me. Naona, miracles happening. I could see God. No. So, being there, it opened my eyes. Nikaona, ah, whoever this is, this is, they are not just stories. This is, God is at work, you know. So, for me, nili connect na nikaona kweli kuna mungu, you know. So for one year, having been there for fellowships and going to church there, nika, nika learn a lot. My, my faith really grew in a, in a big way. Siasa ilivoisha, minika rudi Nairobi. But before nirudi, the power of God came over me. Nilikuwa nikiona ikija kwa watu. Sasa hiyo siku ilikuwa ni... So God spoke to me. And he told me my time has come. Ana kuna vile nitakuwa nikiepa. Because nikuwa nikiepa epa. Wakija hivi na epa epa. Wakija hivi na epa epa. So uh, that word. I took it. Na ikawa inanisumbua. Nilivorudi ni robi. Nikawa nimekaa. Inanisumbua. 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 Kika peke yangu hivi. I could hear God speak to me. So siku kaa sana. One Sunday came. Two guys to my my place. Wakanambia sisi tumetumwa. Metumwa na nani man? Wakanambia tumetumwa na roo mtakatifu. But I was already on fire. When they came, mi likuwa niko stand up, niko. My faith had really grown. So, wakaniambia vile. God spoke to me nikiwa Mombasa for the elections. So once they told me that nika connect nikajua this is God. No. Basi nikajua uh, sina nikajaribu kuepa lakini nikajua sina sina time has come. So I knelt down in my house na nikapokea Yesu Kristo. Um, I meant it with my heart. I meant it na nikawa naambia Mungu aniondole vile ambavyo sivyo vyake aniondole so vitu zika change because nilikuwa ni declare wo sasa na kwa shetani ni declare wo when you born again una declare wo so vitu zika change vitu zikapotea all that i had gotten from from the world zikapotea marafiki wakapotea uh, familia ikanigeukia pia wengine wakageuka so i was all alone i was all alone just me and god akani separate kabisa for three good years i was i was alone seeking him worshiping in prayer trying to understand uh, where i was because nilikuwa nikitumpia sasa i had to understand i had to read the word of god for for me to understand what God wants. I had to to have moments that were just encounters with him peke yangu mimi na yeye. So nikakuwa katika hiyo process uh, for 3 years. For 3 years. Uh sio kitu raisi. But uh I I always live by his word. Na his word is ever true. Uh, he he came through for me. Na siku ati na show wala nini wala nini because now ulikuwa nimeingia place nyingine na mimi ni msanii na sina kazi nyingine. You know. So it wasn't easy for me but uh, sijawahi kukosa chakula. God is faithful. Sijawahi kukosa ati Rent. If you seek him diligently in truth and in spirit, he will never leave you. He'll, he will stand with you. He'll fight for you. So, July 17th, I'll be, I'll be five years now. 
in, in, in the work of salvation. Mm. It's five years and I don't regret because um, I've come to understand, I've come to great reality and I've come to, to know who I am, you know. Because uh, I would say you can never find your purpose anywhere else. But your purpose is in God. You can never find your true identity unless you're with God. You know? and there's, there's, Jesus said there's only one way to the Father that is through him. So for me, I don't regret because I see God in every side. I see miracles happening in every side. Greatness is who you have in you. All the fame, many people are famous, many people are famous, and I was also famous by then. But I, I, to be great is something else. Greatness is not found, is not the same as fame. You know, famous people cannot be great, but great people are famous automatically. Great people are famous. So seek to be great, not famous. Seek to be great in the Lord. I want to thank my man of God first, uh, Pastor Judah Kalinga. I want to thank him for being a good mentor, a teacher, a guide for me, being the voice of God upon my life. So me, um, I want to do more for God than I than where I was. I want to do more for God. I want to to do exploits with him. Um, I want to bring as many brothers and sisters as I can to the kingdom of God. That people may believe and, and, and come to Christ Jesus. So that is what I'm about. That is what I'm about. And uh, I've started releasing my songs um, as led by the Spirit of God. Mm. Recently, I've released a track called Semanao, and I'm simply speaking to the masses that they may come to the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. They may come unto the kingdom of God because God loves them, because He loved me. Mimi nisinge, nisinge hubiriwa, ama nisinge eskia. Nisinge ambuwa mungu wana kupenda, nilikuwa na jiona mwenye dhambi. But God loves you no matter who you are, no matter what you have done. He doesn't look at that. Just confessing with your mouth and believing in your heart that Christ is Lord over your life, you receive this gift of eternal life. You receive his righteousness and you walk in righteousness. So um, in my songs, I minister. In my songs, uh, I speak to the masses about the love of God and what people have gone through, but there is hope in Christ Jesus. So I'm back. Mtaniona sana katika mziki na katika injili tutaipiga vilivyo. Na I want to do more for God. Time is precious. Na God wants to use you now. Anataka wo jana wako, anataka usichana wako. Naona. Glorify God with your youth. Glorify God with your life, with whatever that you do now. The Bible says that to come to the knowledge of Christ Jesus, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Once you are filled with the fullness of God, is it is now the time that you begin life. It is the time that you now understand yourself. No, no. That you now doing exploits. Yani this is the time to understand your purpose by the feeling of the being filled with the fullness of God. You understand your purpose. Unaanza kumove according to your calling because kila mtu ameitwa na calling yake. So walk according to your purpose. Walk according to your calling and in the perfect will of God. You are created for a purpose in this world. Na pia tukitaka kujua kuhusu kuhusu wewe tutaenda kwa manufacturer wako who is your manufacturer god you cannot stay away 
from your manufacturer. There is a manual that we use, and this manual is the word of God. It is the Bible. Ukienda Toyota, uwezi peleka Benz kwa Toyota, hawata kuelewa. Uwezi peleka Toyota kwa Benz, hawata kuelewa. So as I mentioned, I'm back as a gospel minister. And you can find me on YouTube as Cannibal Chosen One. You can subscribe, uh, drop a comment, share with your friends. Uh, on, and on Instagram, uh, Cannibal Chosen One as well. Twitter, likewise. Okay, this is, this is a song that I haven't released, but yes, first released here on the biggest show. Children of the promise, recognize this small wisdom, understanding, everlasting peace. Things of the world no more, dismiss. Walking in his knowledge, I make it my business. Heavenly life on earth to the fullest. A life of divinity is the coolest. Oh yes, fulfill my quest. Dunia mapito nasi sote ni guest. Yesu, milele nkuwanda me. Falme wa wa falme. Popote ni tume. Jina la Yesu ni zaidi ya yote. Blessed love.